everybody wants sidewalks. It's like garbage and water. You know what I mean? It's sort of basic infrastructure that we would think that we could get. And being uh, nearly profoundly deaf myself, you know, I don't have directional hearing. So I don't hear cars coming from behind me, so I don't feel safe, you know, at night or during the day. Um, but it also takes away a sense of neighborhood, you know, um, when you don't have people stopping by and saying hello. I notice, I think, that the neighborhoods that have sidewalks around, they, they seem to kind of know each other and, like, there's more interaction and social interaction of just more people are outside, it's more pleasant to be outside. I notice that because I have a hidden disability, I have a kind of restricted access with an ankle injury and there's really no even place to walk because the street itself is kind of curved plus you know it has lots of cracks in it from some of the bog issues other people have mentioned um, it's rather treacherous I think that when he he's actually riding bikes it'll be a different story I mean it'll be more clearly a safety issue than that there aren't sidewalks in our neighborhood we walk our dog twice a day and there's only partial sidewalks on 90th between 85th and Aurora, so it's really dangerous for us to be out there as often as we are. We don't really have a safe place to walk. We're either walking in people's yards, which we don't really like, or we're in the street with the cars, and there's so many cars parked on our streets, so it doesn't really give us a lot of flexibility of where to walk. Yeah, I feel more empowered after I've come to this meeting, like I feel more hopeful.